Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter in Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced, edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the small cap world every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great small cap investment. It's Friday, May the 16th in Canada. We're going into a long weekend, so first have a safe and happy long weekend. That also means no news out of the Canadian markets today, nothing of any significance, but we've got six Great press releases for you coming out of the U.S. markets, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that we're now in earnings season. They have a lot of small cap companies coming out with their financial results for the quarters, so let's get straight to it. First up, China Infrastructure Investment Corp. trades on the OTC under the stock symbol CIIV. They're announcing... Uh, uh, third quarter and nine month results. This is an emerging infrastructure development and service company. Big numbers here. Let's get straight to them. Revenue generated by its toll road operations on the Pingling Expressway rose 18% to $11.6 million. Now, from the looks of this press release, this is actually below expectations, but the company can explain this because, as most of you probably remember, uh, China was inundated with heavy, extraordinarily heavily uh, snowstorms in January, and they're saying here, if not for the impact of the unusually heavy snowstorms that affected much of China in January, we would have hit our numbers. Uh, it translated into approximately 12% decline in third quarter net income from $2.07 million to $1.82 million, still a big number. Now, here's the most important thing to look at, uh, the nine-month numbers, because that kind of flattens everything out and, and uh, minimizes the effects of the January snowstorm. But through the first nine months, and thanks to what they're saying, increased toll rates and overall trend of increased daily traffic volume, revenue is up more than 50% to $40.5 million, which I, you can imagine led to a substantial increase in net income uh, for the nine-month period to $8.37 million. That's up 87%. Now, if you use logic on this one here, you've got to assume that they're dead on with this overall trend of increased daily traffic volume. You know that's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger for years to come, so China infrastructure may be on to something. They closed yesterday today at $4.58. That's not too far off their high of $5.15, so you may have some good value there. Sticking with China and the U.S., uh, China Insoline trades on the OTC under CHIO. They put out, also they put out their Q3 and nine-month numbers. Uh, this is an online insur insurance services provider providing automobile property and life insurance services through a major portal there. So we like that kind of business because we like online and we like China. Good combination here. Uh, revenues for the quarter, $3.34 million. Gross profit for the quarter, 2.6. Net income, $1.6 million. Huge quarter out of them. Obviously, their portal um, is more than words. It's actually uh, resulting in great results. For the nine months, revenues, $8.64 million. Gross profit, $7.6 million. That's a huge margin. Net income, $5.6 million or 18 cents a share. Big numbers coming out of them. They closed yesterday at 468. Now, that's way off their high of the 52 week high of $13. Off their low of $1.70, but way off their high of 13 So make sure that there wasn't a significant uh, imp event in the past that may have impacted their, their, uh, their results, or make sure the chart isn't, too, isn't working against you too strongly and you're still catching on the way down. Nonetheless, great numbers. You got to put this on your watch list. Staying with the OTC. Graphon Corp trades on the OTC under uh, GOJO. They put out their first quarter 2008 numbers. This is, an, uh, this is a publishing, an online publishing and web enabling solutions company. Revenue for the quarter $1.3 million compared to $1.1 for the same quarter last year. Great number. Net loss down to $700,000. That's a reduction from about a million dollar net loss last year. So we got revenues on the way up, uh, net loss on the way down. And basic diluted loss, uh, loss uh, common share, loss per common share, sorry, was one cent per share compared to two cents per share for the same period last year. So a nice trend there. They closed yesterday at 34 cents. Next up, Door Biopharma. They put out their first quarter 2008 numbers. Uh, before I even go into the numbers, what do they do so you know? They're a late stage biopharmaceutical company developing products to treat life threatening side effects of cancer treatments and serious gastrointestinal diseases. Revenues, 
about $700,000. That's compared to $200,000 for the same quarter last year. Uh, a lot of this came from uh, another grant, a national grant that was received for one of their products, Rivax, in September of 2006 for $5.2 million. So that's always a good, that's always a good sign. Net loss down to $1.4 million or one cent per share. That's compared to $2.2 million or three cents per share for the same quarter last year. So again, great trend. Revenue substantially up. Uh, net loss on the way down, and this is one of those few biopharmaceutical companies that are actually generating revenues. That's why we have them on here. And finally, the Hartfield Group, uh, they put out their first quarter 2008 numbers. They trade on the OTC under HVLL. Uh, they're a provider of health insurance plans for domestic pets, which has got to be a big industry because we know how uh, Americans really love to spend money on their pets. So health insurance uh, isn't a surprise. For, uh, first metric, number of pets insured is now up to 73,364. That's up 83% uh, from the same quarter last year. And sequentially, they're up 13%. So this is great growth for the company. They're obviously hitting it and they found a great space. Gross revenue up 123% to $4.1 million. Their operating loss narrowed from uh, narrowed to $1.3 million from $1.7. So you're talking about significant increase in number of pets insured, both quarterly and sequentially. Uh, great numbers on the gross revenue side and reduced operating losses. Uh, net loss was one point, net loss for the quarter was $1.5 million, about 14 cents per share. That's a big loss. But compare that last year to a net loss of $1.8 million or 47 cents a share. So they're obviously doing very, very well in reducing their losses. They closed yesterday at $1.20. That's a wrap for the day. Great news for a Friday, typically a slow news cycle day. But uh, some great news coming out of the U.S., great news out of these great small cap companies. Make sure to take a closer look at them. And as always, if you're looking for more great small cap companies to possibly invest in, don't forget about the Agoracom Marketplace. Uh, over 90 companies now listed by industry and exchange with great, succinct descriptions so you can quickly find the one that best suits your portfolio needs. That's a wrap to our American friends. Have a fantastic weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Actually, we won't see you on Monday because we're going to be closed. And to our Canadian friends, have a fantastic long weekend, and we'll see all of you on Tuesday.